Hi, welcome back to my channel. So I started to clean the ferret's room tonight and I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna do a video of just my regular routine in cleaning out their cage and switching their bedding and just cleaning up their room in general. So for those of you who don't know, my ferrets um, actually have free reign of one of our spare bedrooms. So they do have a cage and they do sleep in it by choice, but that cage isn't locked, so we leave the cage open and basically the whole room is ferret proofed. And for what, and if you don't know what ferret proofing means, it's essentially that you take away or make unavailable anything that is harmful to your ferrets. Electrical cords, um, anything that can fall on them that's heavy, anything that they can chew, eat, swallow that they shouldn't. Basically, you're just protecting your ferret from harming themselves or from destroying something that you don't want them to, such as um, I know for us before we had them like this, we had to flip our couch over and put wiring on the bottom so that they wouldn't dig a hole and climb up inside the couch. Um, that's just their diggers and that's what they want, they like to do. So this whole room is ferret proof, it is their room. Um, but this room gets dirty just like a ferret cage does, actually not quite as dirty um, because they use litter boxes. So that is great. And I have multiple litter boxes in the room and then I have litter boxes also in their cage, um, a litter box in their cage. So I am going to take you guys along with me as I clean out, um, just clean their room in general and also clean out their cage. So I will also kind of give a review of the Critter Nation. So I have a Critter Nation. I don't have a Ferret Nation. So basically the difference in a Critter Nation versus a Ferret Nation is for a Critter Nation, the bars are horizontal and for a Ferret Nation, the bars are vertical. And the reason for that is because ferrets climb. And so whoever created the Ferret Nation made the bars go up and down so that the ferrets couldn't climb the cage. Um, my ferrets typically don't climb the inside of the cage. Uh, Ruby has a tendency to, on occasion, climb the outside of the cage. It doesn't happen very often, um, which is great because if it did, I would not be able to let them have free reign or at least I would have to find a way to stop her from doing that because if they're in here and I'm at work or something and they climb the cage, she can't get down. So thankfully she has only done that like twice and she hasn't done it recently although I probably just jinxed myself and she'll like do it tomorrow. So let's get this cleaning party started. Okay. So this is Critter Nation. Both doors open and this door opens. So, so we need that. We have two shots. So first we're gonna take this. cleaner but I'm out so I just used a little bit of this and I'm just gonna wipe down this Two sets of these. 
these because that way I can wash them. Alright, let's see. These are kind of big. I made these. These are the first set I made, so they're like huge. But the baby's like. When they're determined, they do that. So I want to show you guys something kind of cool. If you ever need to split your cage into two separate cages, maybe one of your ferrets is sick or injured, or maybe they don't get along, or for whatever reason, I'm going to show you how to split the cage into two. When Weasel broke his leg, we had to split the cage into two because he couldn't be near Ruby with his incision. So here's how you do that. Okay, so you have this S hook and your cage will come with this and you hook it here, like this. And you're gonna take your ramp and you're gonna hook this up here, like this. <laughs> and then you just lift this up and this hooks underneath. So now, they can't access anymore. So that's how you would split it into two. And I'll show you from the top. Basically from the top, it's just one solid cage. So if you look under like this, it's just closed. Take it down, you just push up, and that's that. But we're gonna put a ramp cover on this. This is so their feet don't get stuck. sort of blanket because they like that so we'll just fold this they'll mess this all up this one goes up here 
It's supposed to be all decorative and matchy, but it's not. I'll probably add one more tunnel. So just this one, just the smaller one. And just put this here. They sleep on the floor in their other hideouts a lot too. So, and then I typically put something here because they like something here. So we'll grab something for there. We'll just use um, an extra piece of piece. like one day when I put them in their cage um, and then I typically because of the hardwood I just put this like this and then they come down into the bed right here. So that's the critter station. <laughs> okay now for the rest. So basically all of this is going to get washed because it's dirty. <laughs> so I normally wash all of this stuff like once a week and I just replace it with other stuff or I some stuff like the play mat that just has to go back once it's clean and um, like these will just get replaced with like blankets or something until they're clean again because um, I only have so many <laughs> I should make more Our typical cleaning routine uh, minus the bath they do not get baths every week it would not be healthy for their skin so that's not something I do weekly but um, the rest is and that's how I take care of the ferrets and their room if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments if you like this video please click the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and I'll see you next time <laughs>
Okay, thank you. Get your feet on there. Thank you. 